Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Forts and the Forts Pro League. Where today, here on the left hand side, it's Team Yes with Flynn Shadow and Taichu playing as the Hurricane Commander. Looks like they're gonna try to take advantage of that bonus build speed from the Hurricane Commander passive to try to go for some kind of heavy tech rush as they're rather low eco, but progressing that technology quickly as they're facing off against their opponents. It's Team Skull of Krubis. Playing as the Warthog Commander, Eaton and Noah, they set themselves up with a rather high economy. So let's see how this difference in strategy comes to bear. So here we can see already Flynn Shadow has gone up to the laser production facility. With Eaton directly behind them, but there's a kind of a difference here. Eaton's gone high eco, whereas Team Yes in general, like both of them, Look at that, they're selling off their metal to replace it just to get their technologies out and that fundamentals down just a little bit faster and save a few extra seconds. We did see an EMP coming out of Taichu here, so that's going to be exciting. And how do Noah and Eaton respond will be the question. EMP launches! And there's the shutdown. With the first EMP landing, oh, that's going to shut down Noah's technology. Let's see, does he send the second one lower? No, he sends it directly across, trying to keep Noah completely locked out. Noah, very well known for doing this EMP start himself, but uh, Taichu's taken one this time. And he's actually managed to hit Noah a fair few times. We see shutting down multiple mines, doing a little bit of damage there, although the damage, direct damage, is not the not the main points. Managed to shut down the technology for a moment as well. We see him retargeting the EMPs to attack Eaton's bases now. See if he can uh, shut down the technology or anything else. Any any amount of lockdown that this EMP is able to manage is quite, quite good. Here in these matches, the EMP tends to not be particularly effective. It also tends to be exceptionally risky, because the moment that Sniper comes out, the EMP is just... Well, it's basically dead. It, it's not long for that world, and just as we see here, the EMP was sold off. Now it's Noah's turn to reply in kind. We'll see how long it takes for uh, Team Yes to bring out their Sniper, as the EMP actually lands almost directly on the core, shutting it down once more. As we can see Taichu's uh, energy levels dropping there for the duration of that experience. A little bit of lockdown goes a long way. But Flynn Shadow with his very fast and somewhat greedy heavy weapons rush is halfway completed with their heavy laser. Whereas Eaton's only a third of the way completed with his howitzer. So we're going to have some heavy weapons coming out of these bottom players. And it's not going to be long before they start firing. With all that EMP shenaniganery going around, Taichu is not up to the same speed as the other players in this lobby. Same thing as Noah, as Noah only just now placed his heavy laser. Just as Taichu only just now placed their firebeam. Flint Shadow setting up the doors and preparing to unleash heavy laser fire in a moment. As Eaton's howitzer is still one third left to complete. Flint Shadow opening the doors, lining up the shot. I believe we'll see opening volley here in a moment. Aiming for Eaton's weapon platform, attempting to remove Eaton's cannon before it is able to finish completion. Swing and a miss. We do see that laser splashing a bit low and completely missing Eaton's base. Where's that Mateo levels of aim when you need it? Flynn Shadow will have an opportunity to fire once more before Eaton's cannons are fully ready to go. Eaton's howitzer is going to fire now. Uh, without the cannon follow-up, it will simply splash onto Flynn Shadow's base. As we see here, a minor amount of damage, no real deformation or anything of serious consequence. Taichu's fire beams are coming online. As Flynn Shadow aims now for Eaton's howitzer position. 
Looks like Flynn Shadow fired the fire beam, but did not have the energy to follow it up with the plasma. Ooh, heavy damage. That one, that one hurt. It hit a fairly substantial weak point in uh, in Flynn Shadow's base. Temporarily disconnecting every single one of Flynn Shadow's mines, and that's gonna leave leave him with a pretty heavy. Uh, gonna leave him with a pretty heavy downside here, heavy deficit in resources. Looks like Noah is actually aiming for Flynn Shadow's resources. Uh, a sniper out of Taichu will destroy Noah's fire beam and leave Noah repairing for a moment. Flynn Shadow not fully ready to fire his heavy weapons yet. Does not yet have the energy production for it. Oh! A sniper hit on Taichu's fire beam that's gonna leave uh, Taichu in a bit of a deficit for a moment. As it's the door snipe on uh, Taichi's fire beam as we have snipers all over the place. Howitzer flies, lands. That's a heavy chunk lost. Uh-oh. Does Eaton have the double shot ready? Eaton does not have the double shot ready. That would have been devastating. That core was air-cooled for a moment. Remember, as the... <laughs> they are not... They are playing as warthogs, so... All of the, all of the shots fired, if they don't hit a target, will fire a second time. And every shot will hit even harder. As we see the active ability out of Warthog once more, extra heavy cannon over penetrates the base. Flynn Shadow goes down. His base immediately claimed by Taichu, giving him access to Flynn Shadow's resource production. That's gonna get it going to give Taichu the extra, the extra money they require to have a chance still in this match. As Noah is still repairing his lasers, Eaton fires the howitzer once again, attempting to disconnect and target to completely destroy the remnants of Flynn Shadow's base, and there it is. Noah coming in from above with a laser snipes out every single resource extractor left in Flint Shadow's base. That is now a dead expansion. There is no benefit for Taichu to own that land now. It is nothing but a liability. At least until Taichu expends additional resources in uh, investing into that property and developing it some more. But I believe that as a world, Taichu will not be able to live in. As, uh, it seems Eaton and Noah are rapidly lowering the value of Taichu's current investments. Looks like Taichu's pining to fire another volley of fire beam. Uh, but with two snipers aimed at those positions, it's a little... It, it is extremely risky. It's not even a little risky. It's extremely risky. As even a single sniper round can destroy a fire beam if it's attacked while activated. Another how it's around fired, ignited. It's uh, fired in multiple ways. But the commander activated heavy laser penetrates the rest, leaving Skull of Krubies up 1-0. And we're off, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to round two, where last round we saw Skull of Krubies going up 1-0 after eliminating their opponents in this best of three. It is now match points, where Team Yes here on the left-hand side must win this match or face a defeat in this, in this series. Taichu and Flint Shadow this time around are going with the Hurricane Commander. That's going to give them passively extra build speed so their technologies will complete faster. As such, it's a decent commander for rushing. Compared to their opponents here, it is Team Scroll Skull of Krubis. Just finishing up their technology slightly behind that of Team Yes. Eaton and Noah 
Uh, I imagine we'll be going for a similar strategy to last time. Uh, they are a big fan of high economy and heavy weapons. Uh, I, I will say that they tend to not deviate far from standard builds. They don't particularly need to. They're quite adept at doing everything incredibly quickly and effectively. So we see tend we tend to see extra high economies out of them, and then fast build orders and heavy hitting weapons. Playing as the scattershot commander, they don't get the same build speed, but they do gain massive firepower, especially from the 20 millimeter weaponry. It enables them to get weapons faster, because simply because 20 millimeters build faster than the other heavy weapons, and obtain similar levels of firepower because Scattershot boosts 20 millimeters. Now, one of the biggest strengths of Scattershot is actually less in the uh, 20 mils than in the snipers. We'll see if that comes into play here. Taichu receiving a heavy hit from an EMP, at least as far as EMP hits go. Uh, EMP is not known for their massive damage output, rather their ability to completely shut down bases. As Taichu is now in the negative energy production department, actually hitting zero here, almost soft locking him. If that EMP lands again, things could get particularly rough. As again, no uh, splashing his EMP around everyone's bases, looking to slow everyone down just a little bit. The slowness caused by the EMP, the lockdown caused by the EMP, is uh, quite rough if you don't deal with it quickly. Whereas for Noah, Noah's just going to sell this guy off in a moment and won't have to worry about it again. Um, it would seem that neither player on the YES team is building out a sniper. Oh, there we go. Taichu now constructing a sniper. The sniper is really the only thing that keeps the EMP in lock in check. Once the sniper comes out, Noah knows that they uh, they need to sell that off, or the EMP is gonna go is gonna go away. Snipers deal with it quite well, as we see exactly is happening here, just in time for the sniper to complete. <laughs> Inter so an interesting and less common strategy we're seeing out of Team Yes here is that Taichu is going a full support base. We're going to see we see an upgrade center with resource production upgrades already in place. Uh, we're seeing a flak placed, which will be upgraded to a shotgun, and there it is. Uh, we will likely see a second one, maybe even a rocket. It seems that Taichu is looking to also go for the heavy weapons, specifically the cannon tech that will allow... that will allow Taichu to do some extra damage. Taichu getting a little little rough over there, but importantly, Flynn Shadow has fired the first shot using that, taking full advantage of the Hurricane build speed to come out quite quickly and slam Eaton's cannon. Now, Eaton is going for the same strategy as last round, where they're building a howitzer followed by a cannon. This will cause the cannon to penetrate the damaged base after the howitzer slams the front of it. However, it would seem that Flint Shadow saw this and hit it with the, his standard cannon. He brought his cannon out quickly and shot Eaton when Eaton was unprepared. But now Eaton has a howitzer and I'm sure Noah is going to be preparing to support it with their fire beam. And we'll see if the return fire is going to do even more damage than in the opening volley. Solid hit. Didn't quite manage to align the fire beam with the how it surrounds, but a door snipe from Noah brings Flynn Shadow's core down to 54% after that cannon has been door sniped and sends an explosion all throughout Flynn Shadow's base. That's going to set Team Yes on the back foot and by a lot. While the opening volley did a, a fair number of, uh, we cast a pretty pretty heavy repair bill onto onto Eaton and set him back a bit. It, it wasn't it wasn't something that caused lasting damage. No major deformation. Nothing of 
terribly significant. Oh no, straight to the foundation. Taichu collapses. This is looking a little rough, and now Eaton knows there's nothing to punish him for his greed, and greed shall be had. Look at that exposed cannon. That's going to be triple 20 mil. A little off the top, that plasma arcs in from above. Those sandbags just saving Flynn Shatter. He's trying so hard. The 20 mils, just trying to land any amount of splash damage on that core. They sense blood in the water and they are coming for Flynn Shadow's core. Team Skull of Krubis is looking extremely dominant in this match. We're going to see another round of 20s, but this time, this time I believe it will be with the commander active. And with that, Team Skull of Krubis wins this round, going 2-0 over their opponent's team, yes. If you guys want to keep up to date with all the latest scores, make sure to check out Challenger Mode, link in the description below. And as always, hit that subscribe button and show your friends this video, because lord knows they need some more of that good Forts content. But for now, I'll see you guys later.